Welcome to the Glacier Peak Finals. It's number one in blue, number two in red. 29-10 zipping all the way across the field. The Revolution launches their note into the wall, then collides with their alliance partner. Interesting strategic choice by Team 360. But the Blue Alliance comes out ahead regardless. 33-19 as human operators now at the controls. 30-49, Bremertron back in a defensive stance, and they are hassling 25-22. They are marauding 17-78. They are nowhere near 49-15, who nearly tops over onto their backs, but 30-49 holding it down on the defensive side in the field for our number one seed, while their partners 360 and 29-10 handle the scoring. Still comparatively close, 39-27 as we approach a minute and a half to play. Royal Robotics now trying to drive through the revolution, and it looks like it might be 29-10 alone doing the scoring for the Blue Alliance. 17-78, chill out the Alliance captains seem to have a note stuck in their machine, so they're gonna settle into a defensive stance as well. And effective so far as they were able to knock 29-10 off path and prevent a score. 41 to 34 now as we come under a minute and 10 seconds to play. Neither amp heavily involved so far. 25-22, Royal Robotics unable to connect after 30-49 gave them a little love tap. And this could be some of our lowest scoring playoff matches as defense playing a major role early on. 49-15 comes over and hassles 29-10, but ends up in the source zone for blue. And now 49-15 is motionless and with a dead RSL, that's a really bad place for the Spartronics to be dead in the water. 360 also steady in the center of the field, but now the revolution comes back to life as we come under 30 seconds to play. Bremertron returning into a scoring mode for the Blue Alliance. They cannot connect with their note, but with 20 seconds now to play, they will move towards the stage. Royal Robotics running afoul of the Revolution here in front of the Blue Stage as we are now under 10 seconds. 1778 is spotlit on the red side of the field. 3049 on stage for Blue, and as the final seconds tick away, we say goodbye and good night to finals match number one. We're gonna clean this all up, work out our scores, and let you know who has the advantage here in the finals in just a moment. Stay where you are. Results of finals match number one have been confirmed. A chaotic match to say the least, with issues on both sides of the field and multiple robots running into operational difficulties. 
Fouls did play a role in the final score. With all of that taken into account, finals match number one goes to the Blue Alliance. 82 to 40. And the number one alliance takes it home. They have one win towards the two necessary for an event championship. Red Alliance number two is going to need to win two in a row if they want to take home the title here at the Glacier Peak event. But we have seen stranger things. Once again, we are playing back-to-back -back matches, which means we're moving into a 15-minute field break. And that means nothing better than let's give out a little more hardware Let's send it back down to the field to Evan Klein. Take it away, Evan.